for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the introductions. We ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. And we are on the way. Uh, cash money with that left hand counter. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice job by him defensively there. Nice strike lands. Left-right combo is good. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. both sides with conviction. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to just feel everything bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is... Oh! Huge right hand! All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Separate from the clinch. My champ starting. Oh my god! Another knockdown! Okay, steps in! Oh my goodness! Have a night, young man! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. Ready to fight. Ready. Yeah. And we are underway. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a big right hand. There's the kick. It ducks. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Jab lands there. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Nice leg. You heard him again. Oh, huge lead of the head. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Those are big strikes. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Oh, right hook attempts, no good. Throw 
throws that team. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Two minutes to go. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night could be over. Or you get it up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. That one was clean. Great punch. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Under a minute now to go. Exercising risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him. Oh, no, no. He heard him back. Gets back to his feet. Oh, oh, no. How good was that? All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead. The blood is trickling down. All right, back to the stools between rounds. You ready to fight? You ready? Come Second on. round underway. Oh! This could do it. Get my hand. Big shot to the head. Establish that jab once again. Nice payback right hand, my goodness. Oh, a huge block there. So now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tag kill the tape for this lightweight scrap we sent it inside the octagon here's bruce buff ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the ufc ready to fight ready well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And we remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. And every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Back 
to his feet. Just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Just over three minutes to go round one. Punch over the top. Lands a big elbow there. His misses are entertaining. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, oh. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Massive shot from the top. For this heavyweight fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bad Intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Good punch. Straight punch there again, been there all night. He's got some hands, man. Just missed with the left there. Big left hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. That was landed, yep. Body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Body shot there. Big body shot. You can see it's starting to take an effect on the opponent. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. Wind it up on the right there to go. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. 
Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on it. All right, let us get you some replays from that. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, straight punch. Missed with that attempt. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Nice one-two there. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, that's big. pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Because now he will be both. Oh, my goodness. Oh, do it. Oh, my goodness. With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. for this light heavyweight tilt. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bullet Crew. And now introducing the corner, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong and even on the president's. It's time to kick the door in. Yes. If you're going to open it, you're going to say, you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest... Oh, well, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. This could be the end of the fight. He gets out, though. Wow! Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm. And then with his arm straight, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. Great shots from the top position. Making all these shots count. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Come on, let's see those hammer fists. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. This has gotta be it, he's got the submission. What a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. 
Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, early round action here, and hard to think of any fighter other than maybe Conor McGregor, who has ascended to stardom quicker in the UFC than Cielo Ghosn. Within a few years of training, he had a UFC belt around his waist, and he believes tonight he will have a decided striking advantage in this particular match. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cielo Ghosn, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to all of the drop. Now to go in round one. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on. Fight. We'll see what he does with it here tonight, champ. He's a grinder, John. And you knew that he would get back here. You knew that he would find a way to put himself right back on the verge of becoming the man. He has seen it before. He has done it. He has been here. He recognizes and knows that the change is necessary. We're done in the gym. He's ready, prepared. He's sure. He knows in his mind that by the end of the night, He's holding championship gold. And there was a time when this division was top heavy. Now the top 15 is absolutely loaded. He has emerged out of that pack. We'll see if he becomes the new champion here tonight. Here he is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Big challenge in front of him tonight, but this man looks like an individual who could reign for some time. Well, he reigned the top what was the UFC's glamour division. You go from Tito Ortiz to Chuck Liddell to Randy Couture, John Jones, Mauricio Shogun, who has so many great champions that have held this title, that there is a lot of credibility that comes with it. This man loves that he is the 205 pound champion and knows how difficult it is to reign for a long time in such a tough division. A lot of budding contenders coming his way. We'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen. Herbert Dean's in the building. Hey, He's hey. the third man in the octagon hey. tonight. Hey. All right, here we go. The UFC's light heavyweight title is on the line. Sidekick, well done. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's got to be careful, dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just that oh, man! Oh, nice kick. Oh! Big left hand! Oh, body shot. Oh, who is going to be the last 
man standing. We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great right. start. Doubling up on the jab. Tries to work it into a takedown. Unable to land with that punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Big body kick. They come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Lock that kick to the body. And doing work with the jab. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not do that damage. It's down the line. You're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Just misses with the left hook. Crazy high pace. Under a minute now to go round one. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I can... Oh! Oh! Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. He was able to get that one blocked. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the huh. judge's mind. If you walk Stop. back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it. All right, so a huge round for him there. That you ready to fight? You ready? Round two is on the way. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got... Oh, he's around. Nice leg kick. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Just out of range with that strike. Side kick. Working hard defensively, kick block there. Oh! Man, that beautiful jab. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice punch there. Back and forth we go. Nice body kick That's a big hook. Oh, Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the oh! Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other piece. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. There earlier, you're not there on that attempt. Oh, nice check off the leg kick off right there. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose.
punch. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickle. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round, DC. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, heavy. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, here now, Bruce Buffett with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin.